On average, it takes about two to five seconds just to find and apply a single effect in Premiere. And when you're doing that hundreds of times for edit, those seconds stack up and break your creative rhythm. So today I wanna to show you guys two ways to stay in the flow and apply effects instantly. One is a built-in Premiere workaround I figured out myself. And then the other is a paid plugin I've used for the last two years. And honestly, workflow will be cooking. So here I've got the timeline of a video I've been working on to do with the new Film Impact tools. It's in the shorts feed if you wanted to check it out. Some really, really cool stuff you can do with these effects actually. Now, for example, I've got this clip right here. If I wanted to apply the crop effect, usually what you'd have to do is select the clip, go over to your effects, click there, type in crop, and then drag that over to your clip, okay? It takes a few seconds, but imagine doing this hundreds of times. So I'm gonna Command Z, come out of that, First way is using the FX Seeker plugin. It's a paid plugin. I've got a link in the description with a discount code if you wanted to check it out. But literally, you can have your custom shortcut to pull up the menu. Mine is Shift V, and then I type in the effect, press Enter, and that's applied onto that clip. Super quick. And what I love about this is that you can also pull up presets. Now here, I'm gonna pull up the thermal preset I've got that's part of my split pack. So Shift V, type in thermal, I can select which one I want. I'm gonna go for the first one, and this is what it looks like. So automatically there, you can see how your workflow can just get faster doing this. If you find yourself editing a bunch of podcasts or stuff that needs split screens, the split pack might be for you. So for example, here, I've got a two-person layout, and I'm gonna pull up the FX Secret plugin, and I'm gonna search for the preset for two guests, and I'm gonna stick Will on the far right. I'm gonna to go to my video, 2B, and then stick that on the left and then you can go into the effects and change the framing and size of those videos these aren't pnz's but they're made with native effects in premiere pro so they're really quick and we've added a few bonus effects in there for you now for like the free way of doing this using my workaround we'll be selecting the clip and then pressing a couple of shortcuts one would bring up the effects tab and then the other would take your cursor into the find box. And then you could type in your effect, crop, double click on that, and that applies the effect onto your clip. Now to set that up, you have to go into your keyboard shortcuts. And the two commands you're after are effects. So that pulls up the effects window and then command F of program to select the find box. So basically when I press F, that brings up the effects window here. And then when I press Command F, that takes my cursor onto the find box. There I can type whatever I want, double click that, and it applies it to the effect. So that's a pretty fast way as well. I do find myself using both ways depending on the effects I'm using in my workflow, but hopefully that helps you guys out. Till the next video, take care, peace.